I want to invite everybody to watch my uh, Netflix special that will be premiering on Netflix platform uh, Tuesday, October 19th. Make sure to thumb it up and do all the deals. Um, share it. Let your friends know. Uh, you guys are always supportive. So just when you get some time, check it out. And thank you if you ever came to see that tour on the road. And, um, and if you didn't, I'm glad you're getting to see it. And I love you. I remember when I first got with my lady, you know, and, and like she's, she's helping me pack to go on a road trip, and I'm putting my Xbox in my little carrying case with the monitor. It's a game system, G A E M. You know, yeah. you know. No, you. I'm just, that, she probably said that. <laughs> you know, yeah. No, no, she was like, why are you taking your game she system? Really, yeah. You know, I go like this. Well, normally I would chase hoes. <laughs> and then she goes, where's your controller? Yeah. <laughs> 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 gang, gang. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. I'm that guy. You know what? I'll get to it in about two years. You know what? I was the same way about Breaking Bad. Yeah, me too. I'm okay. the same way about so, I was, so, so it took me like, the, me it was go. season and three, it rolling. already started. And I was like, okay, let me check it out. I, I, was, I was, oh man, hooked. I, I, I caught up. Uh, What's weird is I don't learn because I was the same way about Game of Thrones. I was. Don't you never watched no, Game of Thrones. No, don't talk about Game of Thrones. No, it's my favorite show of all okay, time. Thank you. Thank I was you. three years late on it because yeah. I was like, and my joke was like, Rogan and Brian, when we were on the show, they're like, dude, you're not watching Game of Thrones? I'd be like, is there dragons in it? They're like, yeah, I'm like, dude, I'm 35. Oh, you're I, I'm also, I was. Is it on but, some nerd but, but, shit? Is it dude, on some nerd shit? No, not at all. But it's then on I, family I started lineage. watching it. God darn. The lineage, the best show of all time. The Breaking family Bad, tree in that, dude, that's, that's a sure periodic table right there, dude. I was the late Lannisters, to, all yep, that. Yep. It's like royalty, old school yeah, royalty I family. Love, I was dude, late, I love I was late to Yellowstone. You watch Yellowstone? No, I haven't seen that Ooh, What's one. that about? Oof, oof, oof. Hey, there's too many shows. I can't, I can't get into a, 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 all these relationships. Shows, I agree. Shows are relationships. Yeah, and I won't cheat on one. I have to finish it. I got to be in, Here's, and then I jump. Can I give you a little rule that I do for myself? If I DVR things, right? If four episodes are in my DVR and I haven't watched, I know I'm not into it, and I'd erase it and I never watch it again. Fair. That's how I. That's my test. Fair. So if I, you know, so if I let four episodes build up and I haven't got to it, I know it's not. It hit. It didn't grab me, and I moved the hell on. That's fair. Midnight Mass. You're aware of Midnight Mass? It's a. It's on scary, Netflix? right? It can be. But dude, you have to just. You need patience. It's one of those slow kind of burns. See, I don't mind that. Especially but dude, if once a good you payoff. figure it out, yeah. You'll be like, holy Cause moly. Because it's, it's, it's the same uh, crew that did the, the house on the, whatever, yeah, the, the house yeah, on the hill. on Haunted Hill, yeah. something like that. That was great. The second Yeah. The second Can I reveal it sucked. or should I ruin no, it? Wait, don't no, ruin wait. it. No, no because no. I got new. so much hate about what this one little thing I, I said about Squid Games. Every, I got so wait, much wait, hate. Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. Last stop, week? Yeah, stop spoiling stuff, Griffin. Oh, right, right, People right, get right, so I didn't say nothing. People get so Oh, I saw Jin, the Jin. Oh, it's good, right? You told me that. It's good, right? I liked it, dude. Quality movie. You know why I liked it? Because they didn't, it was like a uh, low, like indie filming. It cost they $17 didn't, dollars to shoot. Yeah. You didn't, yeah, you didn't need a huge location. You shot in one apartment. Yeah. No Have other... you seen the gin? Yeah. No, okay. I haven't seen that. One. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. Stevie's podcast has a bigger budget. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wow. That's not saying much. That's saying yeah. a lot, yeah. right? And this show <laughs> sure is fine. Be nice about my We place. got that Titanic. Yeah. His yeah. Place, yeah. It's, it's all the hot plate is the biggest thing on the budget. <laughs> 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 oh, you know what I told Steve to uh, Bobby to watch, Steve? White Lotus. What's that about? Oh, White Lotus is one of the best shows. On Netflix? It's on Netflix. You know what you should do? No, it's for, on HBO. You should be a movie reviewer, too. <laughs> That'd be good. You, yeah. you know, because riffing do with, season by season? Yeah. Like show by good. show? I know. You know what I've been doing on my podcast now, riffing with Griffin, is I recap <sighs> movies. Like, I tell the story of the movie from beginning to end, especially when it's ridiculous. So I just did Fast and the Furious 9, because I saw it on a plane. That movie is the most ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> I stopped watching after. Two. I haven't seen one dude, of those. When, when they start, when they start like Boom. jumping the cars, building to building, dude, no, and then dude. hanging out a helicopter. Wait, with on this, one, on nope, this one, this one, this all I'll say about it. this one: Tyrese and Ludacris <sighs> are in the '87 Pontiac Fiero. In space. That's all I got to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Thumbs Turn down. Out. That's all I got to so say. If you want to see the recap, Sting watch that. Riffin with Griffin. Sting that. But Tyrese fully redeemed himself. Did you see Vin Diesel post a picture of him on a yacht and he has like a gut? 
Yeah. And people were clowning him. And Tyrese jumped in the comments because this one dude was like, oh, look at your fat ass on the yacht, blah, blah. And Tyrese goes, bro, you have a shirt and no yacht. Wow. Got him. Got him. Yeah, that oh, was. Oh, he's a- got the dad bod. Uh, I don't know. That's dad bod. Look dude. at that yeah. tummy. Well, it looks I mean, like he's, he's pregnant. Can the guy live? He's worth like 900 mil. He, okay, he, he can do whatever he wants. Yeah, he's he's, he's a fine. rich dude. He'll get back to so it. He's, just he Will Smith boats. did the same thing. You Will know, Smith you, was he's like, got boats and yacht. Yeah, he's got yachts. You, yeah, you know of uh, all those Fast and Furious is he he has ownership in it. Yeah, so he's, they, he's they, executive producer the, of all. Of them. He's, he's quietly becoming a billionaire. Yeah. Is it you need to be in, into cars? No, 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 because no, no. it, <gasps> it's about cars. No, like, no, no, like, no, it used to be the first two were like the Tokyo Drift is last car one. Yeah, yeah. Then they started. What are they about? Just give me a summary. Can I tell you something? Oh. It, it for some reason it is about cars. Like in this in in nine, for some reason they in the jungle, and he's got like a, a, a charger. They are in the jungle, and he has this like you know like a, a Ford Mustang or something driving in the jungle. It's not a good jungle choice, no, a vehicle yeah. jungle choice for a car. And I just go, how does this car get here? <laughs> like it's like you're, that's you're the looking thing. too into it, dog. That's not what these movies are about. Can I tell you something? I can't turn it off. That's my thing. Me, ne- me neither. If I'm in a movie, I'm like, yeah. how, like I'm questioning everything. Like it, the, the the thing I don't understand about I haven't seen like six, seven, eight. Okay, no. so I'm looking at nine, and for some reason, like for some reason, this started off as a racing mechanic, street racer in East LA. Now all of a sudden, he's an international spy. <laughs> when did that shit happen? They just got, you know, when gov- did it happen? Go- government got involved. I, 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 I can't, I can't like get past yeah, some of the stuff with that it happens. Either. Sting I, it. I, I took my son to see Venom 2. And oh, listen, dude, I, is I'm that not, out? I'm not a writer. I've never directed a movie, but I I know damn well I can do better than that. I don't know if it's because of COVID <laughs> or what, but, but dude, my son was Tom like, Hardy's he, a honk, dude. No, he's a beast. He's a handsome dude. He's but in a great show. He's hella handsome. He's good, but even my son was like, this is poorly written. He's got a show on Stars or something. I forgot what it's called, but it's like an old-timey show, and it's so he's good. He's a great actor. At least he's give such him that. He's a great actor. No, I love him. He saves Mad the Max movie. Fury Road. But here he said uh, on the Venoms, he was like, you know, it's kind of a cop out to these Marvel movies. He's like, I got the script. My kid was like, oh, you're doing Mar- or you're doing Venom? And he's like, uh, he was like, I didn't know about it. He's I don't like, like the voice like, of Venom. Uh, he was Venom. like, Venom's I don't like cool. Venom's voice. Taboo. It's weird. Yeah. Taboo. Taboo is on FX. That's such a great show. Yeah. You oh, seen that God. too? Yeah, dude. That's I don't, how do you have time to watch all these? Are you busy? Yeah, but night you, chilling, you just dog. binge stuff. Yeah. You know, I'm on the, on the road in a hotel. You're on the road. You chill. Yeah. So you, so as a working comedians. Do you have a lot of like free time to do that? Don't yeah. you have to do press and you think you, you think press is with eight, the press is eighteen hours? You do press is just like maybe two hours in the morning from <laughs> like six to yeah. eight. Well, what do you do in your hotel rooms? That's what I want to like. What do I you play do video it? games? So you br- <laughs> and then I go to movies. <laughs> so, so you bring your setup in your yeah. room. I remember when I first got with my lady. You know, and and like she's she's helping me pack to go on a road trip, and I'm putting my Xbox in my little carrying case with the monitors, a game system, G A E M. You know, yeah. You know, no, you. I'm just that she probably said that. <laughs> you know, yeah. no, no, she was like, "Why are you taking your game she system?" Realize, yeah. she, and I go like this. Well, normally I would chase hoes, <laughs> and then she goes, "Where's your controller?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's either this or I'm busting nuts. Yeah, yeah. 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 So it's like, you know, I'm trying. To I'm either this. busting ass in the video game or busting ass in real life. So now yeah. I just play video games in my room, and I have the AMC uh, app, so I'll go to movies. If there's, I'll find the AMC theater because I get to go to three movies. I can't like I love going to movies by myself now. Yeah. It's like the greatest <laughs> thing to go to movies by yourself. Right. You know what I mean? Like to get late night burgers, bro. Uh, this uh, is so this uh, food. Fuku, bur- Fuku? How do you say Fuku, it? Fuku, Fuku. Fuku Burger. No, it's umami. Because you were in Vegas this week? I was in Vegas doing shows at the new Wise Guys Club. Great club, by Great the club? Way. Great Good. club. Especially for Vegas. You know, Vegas is yeah. dicey. I just don't like being off strip, but. No, it's great. It's like a local oh, club. Fuku, it's great. Fuku, Fuku like Burger. It's, it's one of my favorite clothes. Yeah, one of my favorite clothes. But this Fuku Burger, the owner comes. He's like, you gotta, I get the best burger in town, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, my squad, we were like, big pun in the terror squad. Yeah. So we go there at like two in the morning. Oh, that's you, But dude, dude posts a video from a security footage. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm committing a crime on World Star wow. Hip Hop. I'm like, bro. I text him like, you know, you can just ask me for a pic, man. You don't have to pull this weird security. Yeah, fucking that's kind of weird. Man. That's a weird look. And he kept doing it every yeah. night. Like, yeah, but I'd be bro. afraid of this crew. <laughs> yeah, he should. You guys yeah, just yeah. looking like the Fat Street Boys. David, have you seen David Taylor lately? <laughs> Jesus. I say, goddamn yeah. Hellboy, take it yeah, easy, man. He, Dave, he looking you, like you guys have fun in Vegas. He looked like he ate Vin Diesel. 
What do you guys do in Vegas? Like, what's fun? Like, when he, you're not doing your sets there, do you guys gamble and stuff? I gamble. I, no, I hate casinos. Can't stand. Me and them. Jeremiah won won it on the slot machines. How much? What are you at? Five hundred off. I. What are you at? Eighty-five year old Korean woman. <laughs> what are you doing at the slot Were machines? You smoking and slot. Yeah. Out? Time stamp that. <laughs> <laughs> You're shaming me. Now, how did you? Now, uh, how you did can't you guys... be happy for me and Jeremiah winning any kind of money. No. How, how did you guys split it though? Machine. I'm super happy. <laughs> Wait, for you Brandon, what was your question? Brandon. How did you guys split the money? Because it was it your okay, quarter. Okay, what happened? It was a challenge. The, it was a challenge. Who pulled the handle? No, it was a challenge. So our challenge was okay. You, we have forty bucks, fifty or forty. Whoever w makes the most money wins the challenge. So what ended up happening is the first machine I went to, I went to the old school ones because the new ones are like high tech video. I don't know it's a how lot to going read on. It's it's digital. Like all these colors and I don't even know how to read the machine. Went to the old school one, put in $10. I like your style. I won a yeah. hundred off of 10. I won a hundred and thirty dollars. Jesus. I didn't even know I was winning. It was like... <laughs> And I pressed it again. Do, 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 do. And you play the ones where it's like cherry, it was cherry, just, cherry. Just, just really yeah, for the, that yeah, that's his yeah. old the basic. School, that's that. That's his grandma Korean. Yeah, that's, that's, that's your. <laughs> That's your Asian grandmother pushing you towards oh, it. For some reason, he was, he was smoking a cigarette. He, he didn't know why. He was, <laughs> you know what I mean? He had a... <laughs> Chin, help me out here, dude. I, I need you with me on this one. I, but I mean, you slot machines. Our people. Especially the old so, slot machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, you know, I... I, I, I um, Did you have a diaper on because you didn't want to go to the bathroom? <laughs> you didn't want to leave it? You just peed your pants? <laughs> That's what I they do. I peed out my, my pay stub. I'm like, oh, $130. I'm like, I'm winning. Your turn, Jeremiah. He went to one of the new school machines, the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate yeah. Factory. There's Oompa Loompas, like, nah, you know. <laughs> and he didn't know what was going on. He was like, doo -doo -doo -doo, wild, 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 you know. We didn't know how to read it. He ended up winning $121. Oh, yeah. So I was winning, and he proposed this. He goes, let's <clears throat> combine our vouchers and just put it all on, um, black. on black. Yep, type move. Roulette, yeah. And, and you so won. We doubled our money. Oh yeah, and then you got out, and we're screaming like we won the lottery. Ah, yeah. And did you guys take that five hundred and go get whores in Vegas? No, we went to uh, there's a Brazilian. There's good um, steakhouses there. Yeah. Yeah. He got that dopamine hip, and he just flew him right off yeah. the wagon. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we went to Fugo yeah. de Chao. Fugo, oh, de, Fogo de Chao. Fogo de Chao. That's a chain. What? You went to a chain yeah, that's in a chain. Vegas? Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. ridiculous. Vegas has great well, restaurants. That's Jeremiah's old yeah. ghetto Kansas ass. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Right. Let's not do that's that. That's a real white person move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, let's go to Fogo de Chao. <laughs> we got money, Stevie. Let's get a photo yeah. of the chow. Timestamp, timestamp, <laughs> and another timestamp. I how dare you? So what what's a good restaurant then? What do we do? It's called Herbs and I forget what it is. Herbs and Morton's something. is Morton's good? That's a chain. Oh. That's a chain. But like, you know, when you go out of town, I hate going to like I'm not gonna go to Chili's no, or Fridays. Fuck no. I wanna go to like what's the thing, the restaurant that's been here for Especially a while? Especially in Vegas. There's like well, how do the we Chinatown know? We're like there, blue collar the, guys. The pad tie out there, the sushi's even good blue out there. Blue collar guys. I mean, what how do we I supposed to know the good as blue collar? Yeah, you're not, you're not blue collar. No, you're not Steve. blue collar. Well, thank you. You had five hundred dollars <laughs> burning a hole through your pocket. But yeah. what's a good rest? Like, how do we know what restaurants good and bad in Vegas? Like, I mean, how you can text to... somebody who lives out there. I mean, you know, who's, you know, who's part of Wise Guys is Polly Shore. Yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. about Polly? Oh, Wise I, Guys I saw, Comedy I saw Club. Him the Comedy yeah. Club. Yeah. Did he okay. make you do like a Polly on the street with him? No, no, no. no. He knows better. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. He's he got Polly on the street. He just goes on. He just has his fi a guy film, and you just go with him, and he like just he just being Polly Shore. He was like, oh, hey, it's actually gotcha, fun. It's gotcha, funny. Gotcha, yeah, he's gotcha. great. Gotcha. It's funny. He's like, hey, buddy, come yeah. over tomorrow. I'm like, nah, yeah. he's got a great place out there. Great. His ne uh, next door neighbor's uh, Nick uh, Nicholas Cage. Oh, really? That, that explains a lot. <laughs> he's like, come over and get peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Like, dude, I'm not. 14, man. I'm not yeah. coming over for peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly is good. Dude. You don't got to be 14 to enjoy peanut butter and jelly. But to I was invite, just in Cabo with my chick and I ordered room service and I got peanut butter and jelly. All right, take it easy. Small <laughs> small flags. Small flags. <laughs> and you're judging me, But I'm not going to go to another grown man like if I was like, hey, Eric, why don't well, you come, true, why don't come over like... on Sunday around noon? I'm going to make you some peanut butter and jellies. Yeah. It should be like, it's just already ready. And you're just, just, kinda, yeah, you're just like, oh, you, you want to? <clears throat> Do you fuck with peanut butter? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a little break to pay for all this camera equipment and Nick's salary. Listen, man. Listen, today's program of King of the Sting is brought to you by Athletic Greens, the health and wellness company that makes daily nutrition really, really simple, man. There's a lot of stress going on out there, but you know your diet's not perfect. So lean into Athletic Greens, man. One tasty scoop of AG1 contains 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients, 
including a multivitamin, multi-mineral, probiotic, green superfood blend. And man, it's delicious. It's delicioso, baby. All right. Join the movement of athletes, comedians, moms, dads, rookies, first timers, and everyone in between taking ownership of their daily health and focusing on nutritional products that they really need in the simplest manner possible. That's essentialist nutrition. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you an immune supporting free one year supply of vitamin D. D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. If you visit athleticgreens.com slash K A T S today, again, simply visit athleticgreens.com slash K A T S to take control of your health and give AG one a try. Buzz, buzz, bald, bald, man. Two out of three men will experience some form of hair loss by the time they are 35. I see a lot of bros at my shows and a lot of y'all you losing your hair, man. More than 50 million bros in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. It's not a good look, man. Looking like Jeremy Piven before he got the surgery done. Keep offers simple, simple. Stress-free way to keep your hair. I'm talking about keeps. K-E-E-P-S. All right? It's low cost. Treatments are just $10 per month. Keeps offers generic versions. Discreet little package shows up. Your girl has doesn't have to know you're trying to look like Fabio. All right? Prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. If you're ready to take action, prevent hair loss. Get that get that mane out the back like the rat king. Go to keeps.com slash cats. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash cats to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's keeps.com slash cats. Get your first month free. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash cats. I have one quick question to ask you guys because it's all dudes here. All, um, guys. all dudes. <laughs> so when I, okay, so I have this thing with my girl. She just, she doesn't want me to fart in bed. Fair point. <laughs> but when I'm laying down, it's go time. It's the best time. I try. <laughs> I get up to, I try to, we have a balcony. So I go outside and I'm out there like, ah, it's not working. No, because when you move. Yeah, as soon like, as I get in bed. The fart's like, I'm going to lay low. Yeah. yeah. And then we the, start so, moving the fart. As soon as like, my body is flat, the fart is like, just perfect. Yeah. And then, you know what I mean? And then every, then she's just like, she just went off on me this morning. You got to take the pillow and silence it. I like just, a silence. It doesn't matter because it. it was like, it was a funky one. So <laughs> <laughs> she hates it, huh? Oh man. She's like, I'm tired of smelling you. Oh, I bet you they smell horrible. Yeah, you just be let them go. Timestamp that. (laughs) (laughs) You just be let them go, huh? I but 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 she told me one time she's like I don't want you to think that you can't because I don't want you to get sick. So I always I always bring that. Well, you if you don't get that out, you can you can. I mean, you can eventually get it out, but it's not like some horrible condition. Well, I like I I I kind of play it up. I gotta get it out my stomach. I don't feel good. (laughs) Yeah. 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 (laughs) So I don't know. Are you a bed farter? No, uh, uh-uh. I've never farted in front of my girl. Man, on accident, I oh, have. Oh wow! She's never farted in front of me either. Who? I do you guys like, even know each other? No, no I, I run like a 1950s fucking house, man. There's wow. no. You, there's you guys no sleep that. in separate twin beds? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, the like better the, question like the movie is, do you smell your own farts? Yeah, it's terrible. Is but that a better question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think that's a better question, Stevie? <laughs> I've stuffed that in. Yeah. yeah. All right. Because I enjoy. Nick? I enjoy it. What? Yeah, like well, you, you have to enjoy it. Well, in you that. know, you've never done that. You fart under the covers. And Steve's, it's Steve's like an apartment hour later is a Dutch candy. oven. You know what it's, I mean? You can, say, you can smell some of it, and then you save some for later. Stevie's a freak. <laughs> right, Everybody loves their own brand. Right, I feel yeah. Uh, okay. This guy's got a question about something that just came out, and something that's going to come out. What up, cats? Big Brandon, E Money, fucking <coughs> Steve's. It's your favorite East Coaster, Matt, back again from New York City. Love this the time tea. with a king of sting it. So. Dave Chappelle's latest comedy special, The Closer. I don't know if y'all saw it yet, but man, to me personally, it felt a little bit more like a cultural TED Talk than it did a comedy Interesting. special. Interesting. Normally, mm. David's a belly full of laughs. This time, he was a head full of shit to think about. So what'd y'all think? Uh, did you love it? Did you hate it? Would you king it? Would you sting it? Did you learn anything? I mean, what was the objective there? To be entertained or to be conflicted? You tell me. Gang, gang. And Brandon, you already know what it is. Thick yes, city. Yes, sir. So, Ooh, thick late. city. Thick boy. Uh, wow. okay. I, I king it. I, I thought it was it was vintage Dave Chappelle because his uh, prior two I felt were like more like a TED talk. I was like, dog, just give us jokes. This was loaded with jokes. Granted, it's controversial. Hmm. Also, is it controversial? And like people are like, oh, let's cancel Netflix. I'm like, first of all, you gotta realize, and you've been through this with Showtime, whatever you've had your other specials on. Like, you submit your hour, thirty minutes to them. They have to okay. It's not like Netflix 
saw it when we all saw it, and we're like, oh my god, this I'm transgender not, but I, stuff's horrible. But, but they know what's going on. But at this level, though, I, it could have been like that, though. I doubt it. You know, but I'm sure. I'm, but I'm sure it was. Like, what are they going to say? We're not listen. They saw his hour in live. I would guarantee. Right, 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 right. Someone right. from Netflix saw his hour live before they agreed to that. That's the way it works. But also. With the transphobic stuff, I don't think Dave's transphobic. So that was the point of his special. Well, I had I to look. Well, I had to look that. You know, it's interesting you say that because I, I actually talked about this on my podcast too, Griffin with Griffin. I um, <laughs> the word transphobic. <laughs> the word transphobic is like it's not I, to me. It's not a proper term because phobia <clears throat> means fear, but tr transphobic doesn't mean being afraid of. It actually uh, it means what they are, what people think about. What they, they like if he he, he like if you look up the dictionary definition of transphobic, I think they need a different term. But you know, I don't know. I, I agree. Like you know, he. But it, it became like almost a retread though, because it was like it, it's almost like this is a whole continuation from the last one. You know, it's like I, but a, but it, but it's also brilliant and funny and also like. Are people really upset, or is it just the internet? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I the, know. Well, like, give me context. But, what but, did he have a bit about transphobia? See, that's, what it says. that's almost too much to get into, oh, Stephen. Okay. But then also, it's like when you like, are they upset, or is it just clout chasing? Like, are people just it's like, probably ooh, a ooh, bit we're of upset. That. We're up, look at us. Look at us. Look, he made fun of us. Look at us. Well, like, there's a lot of pay attention over pieces. here. They've gotten, you know what I'm saying? They've gotten a lot of. There's been a few transgender comedians who they've gotten to write, like you know, these little <laughs> op-ed pieces, and opinion pieces them? about who's those things. Them? They're they're out there. It's yeah, coming but, out. You know what I'm saying? Like who's like when you look at how many people watch Chappelle's special compared to how many he people doesn't are, care. I have one issue. No, he's also, he, A, he doesn't care. Also, all this is planned. Like, this is, you could have saw this coming a mile away. Like, he knows exactly the backlash he's going to yeah. get. I My only, it's not an issue. It's just, a, it's kind of like a damn for me is um, we make the same reference. I've been doing it. I've been doing an impossible pussy joke for three years. You know, and so now in regards to transgender, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a joke, and my joke, I believe for me, is like my joke's softer. It's not as you know, but I've had so many people already hit me up that have seen me live for three years. Like, oh man, you know, and and, and is I it to, is it parallel thinking? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. That and that's the thing too. But it sucks because when if someone that famous does something, that's his joke. It's his joke now. It's his joke because because these idiots out here, they don't care about any. They they don't think about anything. It's like if you say the same word, even if you and this is the same. Even the this same premises, they're gonna be like, "Oh, you saw it from right, Chappelle. right, right, well, yeah, because right, right. he's more famous. He's you way more famous." And I totally get so. Just for my fans, I had to, I had to talk about it on my podcast just to be like, because all you all my fans that are hitting me up, like, "Oh man, I saw you do this," and but but you know, and I had to let them know, "Oh no, it's just parallel thinking. I don't run in the same circles as this guy." To me, I feel proud that like you know a brilliant guy like that, we came to the same conclusion. Agreed. You know what I mean? But like for me, it sucks because now I can't do it anymore. <laughs> no. So it's like it's over for me. Yeah, it's a but problem. like you know, but it is what it is. Is. I'm not. I'm not. You know. You know what I mean. I'm, like I said, I don't. I don't. I don't think this guy stole anything. It's just no. parallel thinking. Yeah. But it just sucks because I really loved my joke. Yep. Yep. Well, isn't <laughs> there a I mean? hierarchy in the comedy world? Like, let's say an open micer has a bit that you're doing too, but he had it first. Don't you have rank on him? No, no, no. It doesn't no. work like that. It doesn't uh, work like that. that, would, that I don't would, know how that, that would works. actually be ridiculous. Yeah, that, that'd be oh, a, that'd be a night. Yeah, would be yeah, it'd be ridiculous. No, because there's a lot of same premises. How it works oh. is if you get it on TV first, it's yours. <laughs> oh, because it's solidified. <laughs> yeah, it's on TV. Well, because before it was, it wasn't as there wasn't as many specials. So, like, what I don't like about someone doing so many specials in a short span of time this is the only thing I don't like about it is. That's what happens. So, like, a lot of comics are delving into some of the same subject matter. And it cuts the legs so, out. So, from so, yeah. All so now, of it. all the comics that are talking about things, now, anytime you talk about the same thing as Chappelle or yep. Burr or yep. anybody like that, they now, they, we're stealing from them and they yep. own every premise. Yep. Yep. So, that's the only thing I don't like about it because this has happened to me a lot. I had a, my, on, my, on my second special, I was making this reference uh, um, and I used the <laughs> phrase banana gate, okay? And then I'm, you know, and then like the, the Chappelle comes out with a special and he says the same words he, oh. for something else. And then Adam Egan at the comedy store, he goes, yo, man, 
you see Chappelle's thing? You can't do that banana gate thing anymore. And I was like, what? Then I saw it and I was like, it's not even the same joke, but it don't matter. It don't matter. Because people are going to associate see it, that they would with associate it. So I was like, damn. It happened to me even with Burr. Burr did his Saturday Night Live, uh, his monologue when he did Saturday Went Night hard Live. Paint. Yeah. And I, and I have, I have a, I had the same similar preference about talking about white women and like uh, being, you know, slave owners. Yep. And, 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 and he being had the outraged. same thing. And I was like, oh, I've been doing, I was doing that at the comedy store so it was like it's one of these things where you just go damn it like you know it's like you know it's like it's it's a race to be more famous so you can like so now I start to think because it goes to the most famous guy but now I start to think I need to just start putting my stuff on the internet I Correct. need to just like yeah, it's, 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 it's time yeah. yeah, like stop worrying That's about I, like, let I have, me save it for a special like I have some COVID Afghanistan oh. stuff it's like I can't release this in March next right March. right I totally like, so, that shit needs to come out so now I'm trying to think you know and, and again it's like I say like somebody like like how prolific should Chappelle is that he literally has done like five or six specials in four years. Monster. So three or four years. One was like just current events, but yeah. I know, but it's like it's still, but he still. has a, he's so, you know, oh, dynamic know. and Monster. stuff. So it's like that's all I'm saying is like I wish, you know, you know, it's like it, it sucks really that it, it thing the comedy so accessible because of like Netflix, yep. YouTube, that mm -hmm. whoever does a thing now is as, as, as if no other comic can discuss this now. Did you see the transgender who is referencing to during the special? Mm -mm. She committed suicide, and uh, the oh. family came out because you know she stuck up for him with one on um, one of his specials. She stuck up for mm -hmm. him, and she just got bombarded by the LGBT community, like lit the fuck up. And he was like, you know, I don't know if you guys helped with her committing suicide. Definitely didn't, you know, definitely didn't help out. Like yeah. whatever you, you bullying this girl definitely didn't help out. I'm not yeah. saying that's why she committed suicide. Definitely didn't help though. <laughs> but he and was inferring that. Correct. And it, and it was, it was it, a legit point. I'm saying, but it was part of the thing too. For sure. You, you but know, then, the but then that, that, so the, the, cause she's gone now, right? Commit suicide. The family came out recently, like a few days ago, and defended Dave Chappelle. Was like, whatever her name was, Phoebe, would have loved these jokes. Yeah, Wouldn't have yeah. been offended, would have loved these jokes. So who's really offended? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or is it just a, a good way to go, oh, look, we're, we're here. Here we are. I know. It sucks. Um, yeah, but he's it's an like. an ally. Yeah. But it's just like he said, like, you know, the, uh, the Twitter's not a real place. He really feels that way. And Bill Burr feels the same way too. Like Bill, like, you know, he had some things and he was like, ah, this is going to go away. Whether there's 40 people on the internet that don't like what the I said the, the, and then the, they just move on. The news cycle you know? is so fast. That's where I'm at. I don't, I, I'm, I'm in agreement with him. I don't think social media is real. I you know? really don't. But I think that all the critics that were trying to trash Chappelle for sticks and stones, they were misguided and he won an Emmy. Yep. But I think all the criticism they were making of that special can apply to this one. Yep. And this one I don't think is going to have the same impact as the last one. Ooh, I disagree. Yeah. I think this one was better. But we're king and closer, all of us, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not my favorite Dave Chappelle, I kind of sting it. Just in the context of how much I love Dave Chappelle. I, 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 I thought it was his best special last five years. Oh, I just, well, yeah, I'm I not with it. you on I that loved dude, it. at all. I loved yeah. it. I thought not it was with brilliant. you at all. Because I, I think he was... Uh, uh, he's a great orator, mm -hmm. you know, he's a really fantastic orator. So that's just, you know, his speaking and how he pr presents himself. He really, you know, exactly how he feels and what he's saying. Um, but it don't mean it's always funny. If you look at like killing him softly, like back in the day, Monster. skinny Chappelle show. And he's like that baby's on the street dealing yeah. crack. Like that's, that's comedy. Yeah. Movie. I like skinny Chappelle. Yeah. 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 But he's older now. Yeah, I know. He's more mature. Like you evolve. Your, your you, you evolve. Yeah, you he's like, to. you know, but I, I feel like he needs, he needed to evolve past all this transgender shit way sooner. But the thing is just to like put a button on it. It's like, I get like, he's in such a great position. Like his, his, his specials, they're really podcasts, you know? They're really podcasts. So he was able to do one and then all the critics, whatever things were saying. He was like, you know what? I can address this again. Yep. And another one, I could be like, well, you know, y'all were talking shit. So now I'm back again to yep. reiterate what I was saying and, and to challenge this nonsense. And then if people come at him again, he's like, ah, let me do another I'm one. Deal, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's 20 like, million every time. Yeah, and yeah. What a great position to be in to like challenge everything that people say about him and then double the down. Critics, yeah. He doubled and down. And win and, Emmys. And, doubled, and win Emmys on it. So it's like, it's, it's like he's one of the few people in that Position. Yeah, it's almost like jokes on you. Yeah, the yeah. jokes on you, man. Wow. See what this guy's got. Yo, King in the Stand. Is Brian Laundry? Uh, it's Jacob coming from Mexico. Yep, yep, Jacob. it is. Jacob, also known as Jacob. Brian. <laughs> <laughs> got a King of the Sting it for you. 
Some Theo's Vaughn special is coming on Netflix October 19th. Yes. You better go and watch it. Where are we going to go? I can hear for you. Stevie Weeby doing stand-up. I personally want to see it. I think Stevie's a hilarious guy, and I think he'd make a lot of people laugh. But yeah, it's my king and her sting it. Uh, Stevie doing stand up. Gang gang. Can I tell you something? This guy's facial hair, he is messing up those pretty ass eyes. I know, it's just He's a beautiful looking man. Yeah, he's trying to look ugly. I mean, he's a handsome guy. You know what I mean? (laughs) He he shaves, he's a solid nine. First of all, I am all for this. I talked to Theo this morning, okay? He called me to check in. You know, it's like, uh, Steve, because I think we should do some King of the Sting shows. That'd be fun. I think we should do live. shows, live shows. Oh lord, we all do stand up, and, and we all Stevie, do stand up. Stevie and Steve's going to do it. Yeah. Stevie hosts and does like five oh, minutes. Oh god, all. I'm yeah, with so, much, yeah. so much anxiety, yeah. guys. Steve, this is going to happen. No, and I do think that. We should That's do your it. opener. I yeah. was gonna, I was gonna do. Okay, so I was in Vegas with Jeremiah. He was doing Wise Guys. Mm-hmm. The second show, one of the um, comedians didn't show up, so I'm in the green room, and I, I don't know why I said this, but I was just trying to be of service, and I'm like, hey. I'll go out there. <laughs> he was this close of letting me go on. I just didn't have. He should have. But I had nothing. Well, Brennan, I had nothing. Well, Steve, moving forward, <laughs> I had nothing. New moving Get a forward. Tight that's why he didn't let me go because no, no. he's like, well, what do you? Because he was like trying to safeguard me. He was like, okay, okay, I'll let you do, it, but what are you going to talk about? Like, let's talk this. And out. you had nothing. I'm like, well, well first I, of all, what you talk? I, you can't be talking out stand up with Jeremiah, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Time stamp that. That was I love you, Jeremiah. That was highly disrespectful. That's my brother. No, 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 no. I'm not letting this slide. Oh, you gonna let it slide. You let it slide. Remember that high remember that hierarchy? You let it slide. Wait, are you saying you let it slide, homie? Hold on, Steve. Are you guys saying you guys are above Jeremiah on the comedy ladder? We let this slide, homie. <laughs> <laughs> I think Eric has seniority. You have seniority over Theo, too? Yeah, Maybe. But that don't matter. How does I'm this just, work? I'm just trying no, to figure you guys out. Are like, no, no, no. There's no seniority. Well, hold up. No, how does this work? How, many, how famous is your podcast is a seniority? You know what I mean? How does it work? So you <laughs> have- I'm lowest on the totem pole for that. No. It, so it, you guys are above him on the comedy no, there's ladder? No, 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 there's no such Steve, thing. Steve, stop saying that. There's no such thing. Yeah, there's no But we know who's funnier. You know what I mean? Come on, Steve. Steve, I'm not, I'm not touching this one. <laughs> Unbelievable! I'm not touching. No, I love Jeremiah. Listen, 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 I love Jeremiah. You know, but what I'm just teasing both of you. But Steve, moving forward from this I'll day try forward, it out. you're going to start. What's the worst that could happen? I already Steve, bombed. I already listening. bombed in the worst way possible. Steve, 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 Steve literally bombed. doesn't listen. Stevie, this <laughs> is what you don't realize. Just you being like this is funny. Yeah, like Steve this would work. Literally doesn't listen. Steve, moving you're gonna forward host it. from now, you're going to start writing jokes down. And we're going to check in with you every episode. How are the jokes going, Steve? <laughs> and this is what we're going to do. Write a so joke. we need that's our new segment. How do you write a joke? Could be good income for you. Yeah. You, How do you, you write a joke? You have some you have ideas on, on things. So is it? Do you just write premises? Yes. Or? Starts with a seed with so a premise. Like, give me an example. Oh, okay, Steve. I'll give you an example uh, right like, now. We're doing a joke writing. No, 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 Steve. Workshop right now. Yeah. Okay. okay. So okay. here it is. Our notebooks out. No, you're gonna. You what? What a what a premise is. Like you is you explaining why you think it's funny. So what do you find funny, say, in your apartment? Um, <laughs> there's a whole lot. I mean, exactly. Like what? Well, the hot plate. You, you what else? Down. I'm t- 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 Steve, um, why, the thing is, this is the joke. What about the black butt? Why butts? is it funny? Exactly. The black butt's good. Why is it funny to you? And that's the premise. And then you're going to talk about it. I have to get this off my chest, though. Go ahead. Because I have had some DMs of... Specifically, uh, referring to the black butt. Steve's yeah. ADD is off the chain. Saying that, <laughs> saying Just that, I can this, no yeah. longer support you because the, of the black butt. Because it's black or because it's fake butt. No, he was commenting because it was it it would look like a smaller Child. butt. I get yeah. it, and I have kids, and that bothered me. I but I know you, and you're a good I person. Didn't choose that; it was given to me. Sure. And it's not like I had it out all the time. Yeah. You saw it was that's in the closet. What everybody, that's what everybody said that went to Jeffrey Epstein's island. Yeah, we, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't choose this. No, that's not a, a good example, jet. man. Time stamp that also. <laughs> <laughs> all of it. See, Stevie, okay. but just the black butt is a premise for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could write on that all day. But isn't that kind of hacky? No. For, that's hacky like, how? you know what? This is my thought process behind that. It's you like, know, oh, you might like, as well talk about a flesh. No, 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 yeah. Stevie, you're missing the point. You know why it's not hacky? Because it's real. Yeah, that's personal it's, to it's you. It's real to you. Yeah. Now, if we did it and we don't have that, that's hacky. Yeah. 
But, but it's no, real to Stevie. It's, it's hacky if someone else. It's I not. It's hacky, organic to Stevie. No, but I thought this is my def, I, what I thought it was is if you if someone else covered that subject matter. No, you can't do that, bro. No, 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 no. So and so comedian. No, no, no. no, 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 no. You're talking about, about that, something, bro. Steve. You're talking about something completely different. Hacky is a subject. Well, define ha hacky. Then. Okay, that's hacky is just a subject that is very common and uh, it's it's not the surface level of a joke. So a hacky joke would be like talking about the the um, uh, side effects of medication. That's a hacky joke. Or, like, or flying on an airplane. Any airplane material is a Every comic joke. has an but airplane But that's someone's joke. experience. You're saying if it's if, a part if of your experience. Unique, but now, if you're at a high level, it's a un if you have unique Even take on Even if it's KSA, unique, uh, COVID jokes are becoming hacky now. Uh, just anything that's like a common, you know. Trump jokes. Yeah, Trump jokes. It's, People it are over that. But, yeah. but but again, all. Something that's common. You're missing them. All this, like that black butt is personal and that's your story, Steve. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you have a personal take on it. Yeah. Now, if you were like, "Oh, what if I did a joke about a black, uh, a big black dick?" Well, you don't have a big black dick. That makes no sense, dude. Unless I don't have do. it. <laughs> Are you saying do I have? It? Do you? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, no, I love no. the story you told about the first time you did stand up when you were arguing afterwards with your mom about what was funny. <laughs> That's like, hilarious. That could be huh. super funny. So you do could, listen. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> you Stevie, listen. that could be a joke in itself. Like, hopefully, this goes better because last time, boom, yeah, off to the races. Last time I did you, it, you my know mom. What happened, Brendan? I should have. I got off my horse. I never hopped back on the horse. Well, I'm, we're, me and Eric are telling I, you because that that was so traumatic for me. Well, I thought because you ate the horse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Uh, are, you gonna, are you going to back me up? That doesn't have nothing to do with Asians either. Dude, eating you're horses? You're saying Asians eat animals, man. Yeah, not horses. No, I, I mean, dogs and you horses. Do. No, he didn't say all Asians. Yeah, he said you all. do. I eat horse? <laughs> <laughs> it's just so random. But, hey, Stevie, Can I ask you Stevie, this should be something you should take yeah. confidence in getting back on stage. Yeah, yeah. Eric, who's been to comedy forever, even has taught comedy before, says, Stevie, do it. Yeah, I do say it. do it. I think Theo, you do it. who's been doing comedy for 90 years, says do it. I think it's you just have all about that support. you. I think it's just about you honing in on why you're funny. You don't know why you're funny. But, See, that, that's a problem. That's what's funny. But that's no, the no, no, problem. No, no, you don't no, I don't know. But as a comic, you need to understand. You need to understand why <laughs> you're why? funny. Mm. And once you tone, but that's the problem there. I I don't mean to be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I think this works. That's yeah. why I, I think you no, I, tell I, I, I disagree. Okay. I, I I disagree. As a listen, when Steve figures out why he's funny, yeah, then he'll be able to really manipulate because that's what this is about. It's about yeah, manipulating why know. you're that's funny. That's the problem. You're, I don't and know. And Stevie, you're funny because you're very unique. Okay, so I could t maybe unique subject to topics or something. No, but see no. again, it's more it, your view on on, on that's the what basic aliens, stuff. Brandon, I'm trying uh, to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. He no, doesn't understand. Yeah. Aliens, you know what I mean? Right, yeah. Kyle? It's a aliens, meta thing. Like UFOs, once he figures it out, yeah, that's like off that. the well, Let me give you an example, Steve. Okay. When I, I used to coach, uh, when I used to co uh, coach basketball, and this is before I was doing stand up, you know, and I'd be on the sidelines and I'd be yelling at the kids, and then the crowd would laugh, you know. Yeah, and then it'd be like I'm saying things to them, and the people are laughing. And then it was like a moment I figured out. I was like, oh, so people think it's funny when I'm upset, and there is a sort of like heightened performance because I would say things to the kids like, "Are you point shaving?" You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> it's like you know, <laughs> 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 see what I'm saying? Yeah. But I'm yeah. listen, point shaving. I'm, I'm middle mad. school. Yeah, middle but you're dead <laughs> serious. I'm dead. You listen, point shaving? I'm dead ass serious. So one day you're taking a fall, motherfucker. Yeah. So one day the kids came to me, and the kids were like, "Coach, can you?" like can you stop making fun of us you know like because like people are laughing at us and i was like and it, was, it was one of the moments where yeah. i was like oh I, I and i knew why it was funny yeah like i understood exactly why i was funny i understood exactly what i was doing and i understood it was like this is funny to people you figured out your flavor i figured out my yeah. thing so steve just doesn't really understand yeah i'll give you an example these we, little things that he does you know like, like we did like not know, listening is funny <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like not listening like interrupting. Like interrupting. Listen, no, yeah. i'm getting better brother and, and i'm getting better with that are okay. you? Because you're still I doing it. I think so. I am. I am. <laughs> like I'm in, in my mind. Moment. I'm in my mind right now. <laughs> Go ahead, we did the the Scissor Bros uh, podcast live, and I noticed since there was a live audience, I kept looking <laughs> at them for like approval. Comfort. Yeah, and they saw through that, and I felt like they they can. There's a weird kind of energy. Like they could sense certain things. Did they like it or no? I, I don't. I can't tell. Mm. Yeah. Let's just but see, that's a very interesting perception, yeah. Steve, is that 
this is the thing why, you know, if you're a comic, like I always tell young comics, like don't apologize for things that you stay on stage. Meaning like, don't come across like, you know, you're saying something bad because the audience is going to be like, yeah, you're not supposed to say that. And they'll pick up on that energy. That's you're, what I'm talking about. Tamer. There's some weird unspoken energy yeah. thing with Once the you, audience. You're going to figure it out. Either Once way, you you're figure it the out, up, man. Dude. I'm telling you're you. Getting, so it's like the matrix. Like you could figure out little. Yes. Let's take a little break and then we'll be right back on the show. Listen, man, we all want to give our girl or your guy something special, man, to celebrate something, an engagement. How about engagement ring of her dreams? How about some diamond stud earring for your man? Whatever it is, man, let Blue Nile help you because they're in the business of wedding jewelry, engagement rings, bands, everyday fine jewelry, diamond jewelry, cock rings, gemstone necklaces. We got it all, man. Whether you're customizing an engagement ring or design diamond stud earrings at BlueNile.com, you're in control. All right? You guys ready to pop the question or pop some freaking rings or earrings in your man's ear? Your man's? At BlueNile.com, choose from more than 100,000 ethically sourced GIA graded diamonds in every shape and size. They got endless selection, so you can give her the pendant or the ring or errands of her or his dreams. BlueNile.com, kids. They got expert advice 24-7. Legendary service with 30-day returns. So if this sounds something nice, man, make the moment sparkle with jewelry from BlueNile.com. King of Sting listeners and viewers get 50 bucks off. $500. This is a podcast exclusive offers includes engagement. All right. Use codes K A T S that's code K A T S plus every orders insured ships free arrives discreet little packaging that won't give away what's inside shop stress-free and find your forever peace. Go to blue today. I know none of y'all be watching that freaky porn, but just in case, if you have any friends or family that do, you'll want to pay attention to this little ad right now. With everything going on in the world, governments have increased their surveillance. They're watching us, man. They're using your device to track your location, movements, and in many countries, your internet activity. That's right. You want to be caught with your pants down. Don't want mom to catch it, dude. And one of the best ways to keep your online browsing activity private is by using ExpressVPN. When you use ExpressVPN, your internet Internet connection is rerouted through a secure, encrypted server, so you can surf the web free, man. You don't have to look over your shoulder, all right? Look, I know you probably think all you have to do is go incognito mode. Wrong. That don't work, man. They can still track you. They can still freaking track you. That's why I use ExpressVPN whenever I go online to look at all the creepy stuff. And I recommend you guys do the same. Without ExpressVPN, you're giving people a free license to peek over your shoulder and see all the freaky stuff you're into. So protect your privacy today and get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Visit expressvpn.com slash cats. That's expressvpn.com slash cats. E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash cats to learn more. Hey, is this a trailer oh. for Theo Special? Yeah, yeah let's do let, this. And let me say this before you play. It's about Theo Special. So Theo Special is called Regular People. Mm -hmm. You know Theo. He's crazy, right? Yeah, and he had a million pictures that Netflix sent him for marketing. And he goes, man, I, I don't like this one. I look too silly. Or I don't like this one. I said, Theo, here's the thing about you calling your special regular people. You're the furthest thing from regular that I've ever oh, met. Oh, he's unique. Yeah, so yeah, your yeah. picture should be your, should, like he, it was one was far away. <laughs> one looked like Mark Maron on a stool. I'm like, no, I don't want any of that. He's like, don't I look goofy in this picture? I'm like, no, that's how you look, dog. <laughs> so by calling it regular people, having this picture, yeah. to me, that's fucking funny. Yeah, I had a real. That's oh. the funny. You know, it's, it's funny you say that because like uh, my first special was called The Ugly Truth. So I had a real ugly picture of me. It was like my belly and stuff. And hilarious. I was like, what's the ugly truth? <laughs> yeah, hilarious. <laughs> so this is what I'm saying. Like, you're and, so and right. I, and also, I was, telling, regular I, was, person. I was telling Theo, like, this is his, there's certain times, I think, in co comics career, some ha it happens early, some happens late. But for, <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm sorry. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> laughing too that's, hard. No, 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 no. But, <laughs> no, no, no. But I want to point something out. Steve, why is that funny to you? I just, the, if, I, um, <laughs> No, no, listen, listen. Uh, Steve, okay. look at me, look at me, yeah, yeah, yeah. look at me. Listen to it was me. The, it, no, listen, the listen, listen. Wait, 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 listen. The poster looked funny. No, no, Steve, me. listen. I want you to really think about this. Why did you laugh so hard when you saw that right now? Think about the whole thing. Why did you laugh so hard? I don't want to fat shame you, though. No, 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 <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> See? Right. Now, why, now, Steve, you now, look, why is that funny? Well, you look fatter. Okay, man. so why? And is, it's the ugly truth. The ugly truth, right? Boom. So what I'm saying is, like, Steve, this is how you make jokes. 
Oh, okay. Because gotcha. this is what I'm saying. Like, why did you laugh? When you understand why you laugh at things, you will explain why you laugh at things. But That's also, the joke. But also, why why it works too, Stevie, is because you're a sweet person. You have a good soul. Is he? I, I, he is. He is. <laughs> Otherwise, he wouldn't be here. But the other thing about so this is the last thing on Theo. So Theo had a special on Netflix a while ago. Not his best work. We can all admit that. Theo, from that special to now, I told him, I said, brother, when this comes out, this is your, this is your moment. You know, Theo, he's like, no, man, there's no moments. I'm, like, I'm telling you, dude, I've seen your material. For, for your fans are going to watch it regardless. But the casual fan is like, you know, regular people. And that guy looks silly. He clicks on it. Mm-hmm. You, dude, it's going to fucking catapult. Theo. Oh, his yeah. head's already big and his nose <laughs> and his ass. It's going to be even bigger, oh, dude. Because no. when people God, get a hold not. of Theo. Jesus, it's going to be a nightmare around here. Oh, nightmare. Aren't you I'm proud a, we, of him, though? This is a big deal. We're going to get a conference call before he in his <laughs> career. And he's going to watch this. He doesn't realize this moment in his career. He won't acknowledge it. Why not? He doesn't like pressure. Why? But I'm telling you, man. Well, you're, this you're, special. You're, he's worked hard. Look at the pressure you're putting on. Let's play the damn <laughs> trailer. Well, hold up. I want to talk about that. <laughs> and though. we want to see a to... trend number one on Netflix. So I think it helps yeah. if you if you can. It drops next Wednesday, October nineteenth. But if you go visit the page that's on, that helps it. It's like, um, and, let's see. And, and rate it and give it thumbs yeah. up. Yeah, support. This is them. Awesome. I, I grew up around regular people, you know. Just you, you know, like the, out there, everybody's fancy. Somebody's fancy. Their daddy's fancy. You know. I grew up, dude, they had a guy growing up in my neighborhood, no arms, fight everybody, boy. <laughs> boy, look at him. Yeah, zero arms. <laughs> yeah, dude, this boy named Gert was his name. <laughs> well, that, his name was Edgerton, okay? Nobody's <laughs> named Gert, that's not a name, you know? That's more like a sound, you know, like maybe you're, you're eating something and somebody scares, you know, Gert? <laughs> That's just mom petting the cat. You call before you come touch that cat, Linda. <laughs> this fellow named Edgerton. Uh, and he choked out 30 people in our town and had zero arms. <laughs> <laughs> and they call him Gert because if you take the name Edgerton and you take off the ED and you take off the O-N, the Nass Gert, you know? <laughs> Yeah, just the middle, you know, just like him, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, My dog. Great. Oh, fantastic. I'm excited for it, man. Holy yeah, that's smokes. exciting. Oh, I love that him. picture. Wow, yeah. look at this. is a big deal. His billboard's cool, too. That's man. the best place for a special, Netflix, right? Now it is. Depends. Yeah. Well, I, think they oh, bought, I thought they, that they, was the premier place. They the depa- it depends. If you're Theo, yes. If they push you, yeah. It so what, what can compete with that, though? It's Netflix. YouTube, Comedy Central. YouTube? YouTube? Not YouTube. Comedy Central. Hold on. YouTube? Comedy Central, YouTube. And oh. Like, I think if... Are they finally on YouTube? Because, mm-hmm. you know, for a long time, they're on they, they were trying to make us go to their little alley app. Nope. Mm-hmm. They're on there. What happened they're to HBO? I thought back in the day it was HBO, no, HBO, because, HBO, because HBO. here's HBO. Like, they have a good amount of subscribers, but Netflix has more. So, Netflix, <clears throat> in, in, to me, unless you're like a Theo Vaughn or Bill Burr or Dave Chappelle... Mm-hmm. And they're gonna push it and promote it. Or you're Joe Rogan. That makes sense. But if you're just a dude yeah. and you get lost in the algorithms, yeah, yeah. You, you, nobody's gonna see it. And and once here's the other thing about Netflix. Once you give them the special, it's theirs forever. You well, can't take clips. It? Yeah, ownership. They own it. They own ownership. It. You can't take clips and put on YouTube. None of that. Why not? They own it all, dude. Oh, that's not so, cool. So if you look at like Shane Gillis, right? Uh, Mark Norman had the third most watched special last year. Two, two, three million views. Shane Gillis over 1.5 million views. Like, if you want to sell tickets, if you want to sell tickets, unless you're Dave Chappelle or Bill Burr, you got to have that on YouTube in some form, whether it's a co- Comedy Central YouTube, yeah, your own YouTube, you something. have to do something. Because, yeah. you know, even, oh. even for me, like, um, mind being, you were on Showtime. Nobody watches Showtime. It, it's tough. <laughs> like, because it's not, because my, especially my fan base, 18 to 36 males, they don't have Showtime. No, yeah. they, they don't. They're, they're on YouTube. It was, it was they're tough. Yeah, YouTube, yeah, it's YouTube, tough. YouTube. It's tough. It's tough. But I mean, the thing though is like, you And know, also, I don't mean to interrupt you, but also like the narrative of like, you know, putting your special on YouTube, it's changing because talents like Mark Norman and Shane Gillis and these other monsters have are putting their specials on there. I think even Rogan's talked about putting a special on there to get maximum views. Because at first it used to be like kind of C D list comics with like nobody's yeah. picking my shit up and put on YouTube. 
But now it's different because you got monsters, monsters doing yeah. it now. Even some, uh, you know, Brett Ernst put his special on YouTube and he got a lot of great, re- like, he's a, mo- Brett's write, a monster. Write, write-ups about it. So it's How like, do you get you, paid if, is it monetization Google ad? Like, how do you get paid so, for that? So, not, yeah. So not, if you go, it's not all about it's getting not, paid. It's not, the, 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 oh, it's promotion. Correct. Because the number one thing Eric and I want to do is sell tickets on the road. Oh, That's where we make our number. promotion yeah. to get the tickets. Oh, so, gotcha, so gotcha, if you get gotcha. 2 million views on YouTube, that's going to correlate to tickets Ticket on the road. Sales. And that's where yeah, we make our number. That's where you make your money. And you can't do that with Netflix. You say they own all the you footage. You can make your nut, but like, you know, I'm not going to say how much Steel too. made, but he made enough money but he, where oh, he it got, makes sense. Oh, the deal he made. Okay. Like you. Chappelle gets like 20, 30 million a time, you know. Rogan gets millions. But someone like that, they got a different type of deal. I mean, they could tell Netflix. Different. Yeah, he could be like, no, you don't own, You can own this for a year, and then, and then I get it back. I mean, Th- this depending is, on who it is. Who it is, yeah. But yeah. this is the other thing, too, with specials. It's like now, even on <clears throat> Netflix, we know people stop watching after 28 minutes. They might come back to it. 15, But they, but they start watching on 28. Is that how it works? So, so let's, say, uh, let's say my friends and family don't know who Eric is, and yeah. he has a special. And it's on Netflix. I can say, hey, watch Eric's special on Netflix. Or if he's on YouTube or Comedy Central YouTube, oh, clips. I can take a, a three-minute clip go, bro, check out Eric's yeah, fucking yeah, bit yeah, on His yeah. best bit. On fucking Lion King. Right, and my right. Mom goes, oh, my God, it's hilarious. Where can I watch the whole? You know what I'm saying? I think I can- he stole that bit from Chappelle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. But shout out to Theo, man. October what? Yeah, go check that out, man. 19th, uh, right? October 19th. Wednesday, October 19th. And here's the thing. He, he's in a perfect position, too, because... Specials that come after Chappelle because it's this comedy thing get more views. So it's perfect timing, Doug. How do you know so much about these algorithms and marketing? Business. You are a business. That's guy. why we had a that's why we had a studio called Thick Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We got a couple. He only, of he, only respect, he only respect. plays dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, you're uh, with Mer- you know you know what you're doing, man. You know what's going on. Uh, we got a couple quick uh, cats in the wild. Someone said they saw <laughs> young Brendan <laughs> at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. Oh, that's you, dude. That is sick, boy, dog. That shit's fucking great. That was, of course, before the tragedy at Chuck E. Cheese in your hometown. Oh, gosh. Ooh, what, what do you mean? What, something happened Shout at Chuck E. Cheese? Shout to Nathan Dunlap. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Nick, what is that? Chuck I e- don't want to bring the energy down. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not, Can I tell him real quick? Yeah. yeah. Just give me a brief summary. There was a guy who went to my high school, Nathan Dunlap, got fired from Chuck E. Cheese, went in there with a assault rifle and murdered, I think, five people. So where he ran to, the apartments, that's where I lived, right behind it. Mm. So when he was running, my mom's like, get in the house, because I was playing football outside. It was late. Me and my friends were playing, and there's helicopters all over, Damn. and it was on the news. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Never forget that. Never step that's foot insane. in Chuck E. Cheese again ever in my life. And that's yeah. why you get triggered when you see the rat king. Correct. <laughs> oh. You know if you look at Chuck E. Cheese, it's creepy, Doug. I don't understand. Like, If you get fired and you're mad, why are you killing other people? Kill yourself. You know? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, <laughs> Time stamp that. I really don't want no, that. That's, that's actually fair, real. Though, that's, that's fair. Actually fair. That's, that's actually fair. really fair because that's they because they end up killing themselves anyway a lot of times. Yeah. Or how about this? You know what's good? Play a video game. You could kill on the video game. Yeah, just Play be mad Warzone. there. Or punch a pillow. I don't know. Or, fi- or fight them. I'd rather you fight them than shoot them. Yeah, come in and yeah, beat that's people not up. Cool man. But at Chuck E. Cheese, it'd be like nine year olds. And remember that was back in the day. But it was closed, so he came in after hours through the back door. And the guy that he shot in the face who survived, he actually played dead. And then Nathan Dun- Dunlap uh, ran out the back. He ran out the back to the apartment. Right. He came to our friend's house. The guy's Damn. face was like all fucked up. Oh you know, God. me and Chin have a little shame in that category, huh? Why? What happened? Cho Sung Wee. Oh, not us, though. It's just a Korean Virginia guy. Virginia Tech shooter. Yeah, that guy was oh. crazy. He was a Korean guy. Yeah. yeah. Are you taking responsibility? I know how to win. No, but there's a, yeah. there's a little shame in it. There's a little shame, right, Chen? Of course, you do feel a little shame because yeah, then he's Korean. Shame. You, always, you always want them to not be Korean when you see someone Asian yeah, that does a mass murder. Once you find out you're they're kind of like, Korean, it's something else. It's rare it's any other race, but white, though. That's I know, the I know. Problem. That's why when no, it's this Korean, it's like, oh, shit. And he planned it out. You remember that? Well, he's Korean. Of course, hey, what, he planned that. He knew the angles. Head. He had the. Hey, what, you know. hey Stevie, what? Hey, Stevie, what's a snapper head? <laughs> he just a red. Zo- he just snapped. He, oh, snapper yeah, head. snapper head. I thought that was like a derogatory. No, term no, no. He snapped. He, he red zoned. And remember that movie I told you to watch, Old Boy? Yeah. But don't oh, ever. I don't. Love oh yeah. Old don't look movie. into it. Don't read into it. Just watch the movie. Oh, yeah. oh. That kid was kind of inspired by Old Boy too because he uh, had the hammer. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, he he took a picture with a hammer and the hammer is like significant in Old Boy. Yeah. Yeah, old boy 
is incredible. Oh, don't movie, tell dude. Me. Is on Netflix. Have you seen? You haven't seen Old Boy. It was. You gotta it watch. was on Netflix. No, you have to. You can find it. Yeah, you can though. find it. Uh, Please it, watch it, but don't look into it. Just yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, you just gotta watch. Right, it. Yeah, you'll like, you'll it. blow your mind. I'm in. Yeah. Got one more. Cats in the Wild. Someone spotted uh, Theo in Japan. <laughs> Bro, that is oh, spot on. Oh, wow, that's me, Theo. If this God. Netflix special didn't work out, dude, that's <laughs> Theo, dude. Oh my, that's fucking God. hilarious. His face, right? Yeah, it's before oh. he found his hair, the style with the hair really. Yeah, down, that's fantastic. <laughs> he might want to go to this style. <laughs> uh, so, and we'll move on to some debate clubs. Another topical thing that happened yeah, this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, Brendan? What's up, Theo? What's Is that up, Brendan? Eric? What's up, Stevie Weeby? <laughs> it's Steve, Steve Weeby. Fuck, it's Steve Weeby. <laughs> it's okay, just call me Steve. It's fuck okay. That. It's Steve Weeby. Steve. Steve B. Steve B. Steve. God, sorry, it's guys. Okay. I have a debate call for you guys. He for sure uh, beats who you her. think took a bigger <laughs> L this week? Um, the head coach of the Oakland Raiders, uh, John Gruden, uh, who uh, apparently made some homophobic and racist remarks through emails through the last seven years or the CEO of Southwest Airlines. Uh, what are you doing? Now? What happened with that guy? Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I don't know and that contact. He had to cancel yeah. a bunch of flights, but he's saying he has a bad weather uh, and air traffic controls. Yeah, so he basically mandated a vaccine and blamed it on air traffic control. Uh, so their employees are dropping like flies. They're, they're, uh, anyways, they're protesting. let us know who you think took the biggest L. Um, I personally think it was John Gruden uh, yes. with the Raiders. But uh, thanks, guys. See ya. I like these two. So what's the so, Southwest so, so, so Southwest made vaccines mandatory. On what, the, what? For the employees? For the employees. So okay. all, the, all the, the flight attendants and the pilots, they went on protest. So I was in Vegas this past weekend flying back home, and I get there, and the lady from Clear is like, honey, she's a nice black lady. She's like, honey, you sure your flight's going out? I'm like, yeah, why wouldn't it? Because you know, I'm on social media. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Mm-hmm. And she goes, you know, they're because of the vaccine mandate, um, they're protesting, so they canceled 500 flights out of here. She's like, most people flights are canceled. I'm like, what the fuck? So I looked it up. My flight was still good. But what's in? She goes, now they're going to tell you it's because of weather. She goes, how was the weather in Cameron? I go, There's not a fucking cloud in the sky. She yeah. goes, you're going to hear it's weather. It's not weather, honey. And the reason why they have to say weather, you know why? They don't want the backlash, right? No, 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 no. They have to say weather because then they don't have to pay for hotels and all that oh. kind of stuff. If it's, if it's their fault, then they have to they have cover, to cover you. That makes sense. Yeah, so they're like, ooh. So Southwest that did money. that. They're gonna, they're losing their ass. They're, they're going to have to back step on that. And then you know John, what happened with John Gruden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to ask you about, I was thinking about you about John Gruden. Oh, I have a lot well, to say about Explain it to me. I don't know what happened. Explain it to me. I'll, I'll explain it to you. Yeah. So the way this John Gruden thing happened is there's an investigation going on with the the Washington football team, a.k.a. the Redskins, right? And Dan yeah. Snyder, there's all this shady shit. He's a complete piece of shit. And well, why, wait, why, why? That's too much to get into. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just but, take so, our word for it. Okay. Yeah, so he's a, he's a bad dude <laughs> okay. for a million reasons. And there's been an ongoing investigation within his organization. Them looking into his organization, the computers and everything, they found 650 emails from John Gruden to Dan Snyder and the owner there and a bunch of other guys. And in those emails out of like from 2008 till 2018, there's emails calling Roger Goodell uh, a maggot, but with an F. There's him <laughs> saying, uh, you know, like this guy has Michelin tire lips, referring to a black guy with big lips. Oh, it's yeah. him like uh, t- telling all people. That. Yeah. And then he calls Roger Goodell like a clu- clueless pussy, all this stuff. So it's all these emails. Gotcha. So, um, and I'm sure like. He should be fired because yeah, seventy percent of the NFL is black. Nobody's gonna respect him. Nobody's gonna listen to him. So you got to get him out there just from a football standpoint. Mm-hmm. The, they to him. me, to me, the oh, the bigger you look at the bigger picture, and I'm not condoning what he did, but if we went through everyone's texts and yeah. emails in here when you were emotional, because he was emotional at that time, because the NFL was gonna do a lockout, a lockdown, right. do all that shit. So he was emotional sending these emails. Doesn't you know excuse him for it, but I'm just saying if if you look at take it outside of football into the real world and we start looking at all your emails and texts, right? There's gonna be some shit in there you're gonna get some shit for. Well, uh, so looking at his personal emails to me, it's kind it's it's kind well, of no, dicey, man. I know I know yeah. I know what you're saying, but here's my I, let me. I'll now go, is this the white part of Eric right. or the black part? This is all the parts. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> um, if you say stuff in private. And once it becomes public, you have to answer for it, mm-hmm. even if you didn't mean it or not. 
I mean, the analogy I use is like, if you walk past your mom and you step on her foot, you didn't do it on purpose, but you're still going to say sorry, you know? And so- Yeah, but should you be canceled? The whole no, no, world no, here, saw your mom step on no, your foot? No, no, but here's the thing though. Here's the thing though. He's canceled or not, like he's not, he, he quit. He resigned, he to, he even though they to. were going to have, but in, they were gonna for, fire for a lot of the reasons uh, you're saying about, and I, I think they went to him and said, you know, we can use this clause. Uh, you know, I'm sure he has a clause, a, a character clause in his sure. contract. We can nullify this whole hundred million dollars or you can resign and we'll let you, you keep half. this amount. Yeah. And so I'm sure there's some behind the scenes thing there. And like you said about, you know, it's a, it's over 80% black in the NFL. And he's going to have to come in there and deal with that. Yeah. So it's probably like, be- and they weren't winning. So it's probably, they like, were this, though. This is a great, no, they they, not in the last, no, no, they, they lost two games in a row now and, and they haven't looked good. <sighs> you know, it's like they're, they're three on the and right two track. Yeah, yeah. But they're three and two yeah. and there's other Go teams ahead. that are better. But anyway, so but here's my thing about this it like he's the now the fall guy but he was sending emails like this to, to big boys to other people but not just other people like I, big boys i know for seven years mm-hmm. right and 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 they had nothing to say like we this, haven't, this we, is, we haven't heard the bigger, other side this is a bigger problem that's where i'm at with it yeah this is a bigger problem the, the than problem just, is dan snyder bro the, the problem is what's well, all of this I mean, no, what I'm saying is this. It's all of it. Like, because they're well, investigating. My, my th- here's my thing, Eric. So if you and I have an email chain for 10 years, right? And because they're older. So emails to them are like texts, mm-hmm. right? They're, they're not texts. And they're yeah, fucking yeah, emailing yeah, each yeah. other. So they were sending pictures of naked uh, cheerleaders from the Washington football team, they which is a whole other thing. Yeah. yeah. So Dan Snyder forced these cheerleaders to fly across the seas, and then they forced them to go on dates with these upper yeah. echelon guys. Basically, human trafficking. Yeah, th- th- That's fact. Mm-hmm. We know that for Nothing happened to him. He's a billionaire. He, he's the one you want to go after. He's the Harvey Weinstein yeah, of all this shit. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Gruden, through the emails, is the fall guy. That's what I'm saying. Because you can't fuck with Dan Snyder. He's a billionaire. Yeah, but but John Gruden. But, but, but is there something to it where. <sighs> he's not a good. I mean, he's like he, he wasn't being a good guy in this moment. But what but, he was but, doing but was he the, thought he was making a private. He thought he was sending private stuff that it was just going to be between him and, and is his that, wife. Right, my right. thing is that not okay? No, no, no. What I'm saying is like, listen, listen. What we're at, talking about right now. Because it's a private conversation. No, no, let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me finish here. What we're saying is like, like as a comic, I totally get this. Because as a comic, we say a lot of outlandish shit to each other. Especially like a group text. In a group or, yeah. text, we say a lot of outlandish shit to each other. But when that becomes public, you do have to answer for it. I don't think so. No, it does, dude. If you're yeah. saying something, like if, you, if, if we're making fun of somebody that's a friend or a colleague and we're saying things about them in a text and that stuff comes to light, you got to answer for it. You're going to have to tell to go to that person and be like, I don't, we were just messing around, man. And it was like, you know, you have to explain yeah, yourself. Okay. It is what it is. Mm-hmm. All right. So he was saying all this stuff, right? Yeah. You know, Roger Goodell's going to be like, yo, dude, that's how you felt about me. Yeah. He, if, if he feels like now he could be like, yeah, I felt that way because you did this, this, and this. That's yeah. their private thing. But it did become public. And once things become public, you have to answer for them. Now, what? Now, how far does that go is what you're talking about. Should a person be canceled? Should their job, should li- oh. livelihood be taken away and all that kind of stuff? That's a whole other discussion. But what we're really talking about not, not right now is, is he a good or bad guy? And they're trying to determine that based off this. Being racist or whatever, it's about a pattern of behavior, not a moment in time. So, like, if you're in your car, and like you know Stevie cuts you off and you're gonna make some terrible Asian joke in your head Mm -hmm. in your car you're like oh of course a freaking Asian or a woman or you know oh look at this fat guy You, you know we always go to like our like that's what trolls do Trolls are just shallow base level things that they say and they and they come at you and they like you know you oh you're old you're fat you're whatever yeah. they come to those things and that's when you really want to judge somebody is like in their calm moments you know and they're like regular everyday yeah, life. Not but he's talking escalate. more on privacy his thing you're talking about two different things he's talking about uh issue of privacy mm-hmm. like you know like he cuz these guys thought in private you know, just talking to the homies, yep. like, and only the homies. They're all will really see it. close friends. Yeah, yeah I, I know, know what he's for talking years, about. I know, I know. If that, you're no, but Steve, I just say that. Years, I know, boys. but what I'm saying is, once something becomes public, even though it's not meant to be, it's like it's not it meant to be public. Matter, though. Though. It does, though. Eric. No, it doesn't. Because if, if, he, if he knew public, that was going to get out and still talk like it's like, oh, you're a piece of shit. No, no, I I understand that, but once it's also a hide it like once something becomes public, you have to answer for it. You can't. Your excuse can't be, well, this was just between me and my friend. We go, yeah. But like we saw it, 
So we saw you say something really outlandish, and it comes across as racist, homophobic, misogynistic, whatever the things you're going to say. So would you give him a pass? He's like, yeah, we bullshit like this all the time. That's how me and my friends talk. I didn't mean to offend anybody because this is how this is how we talk to each other. I know this isn't for the public. I understand that, but like. I, I right, and so you're. Let's say you're offended by it, but he's like, "This wasn't for you, bro." I know, I understand that, but it's out, and he's like, "Yeah, I know, it's out." It's and out. I, I wish you didn't see those things. I w- that's what he for, said, but it's not for you. I know, but that's what he said. But the thing is, it's still if he offended people, those people are allowed to have feelings about it. Like I don't care that you were saying that to your friend, so you were talking shit behind my back, and now it got to me. I can have feelings about that. If we, if there's an email chain with like you and Stevie and they're being like, I don't know if I like Eric on the show because yeah. he's a blah, blah, blah. And and we wouldn't say anything and racist say, or homophobic It doesn't matter. If, even if you were joking, okay? He's saying it's okay. So if you were joking and saying some racist, homophobic stuff about me and I, I got out, I'm allowed to be like, yo, dude. You know what the difference is? So well, let, what's so, up? What's so, this about? so let's say you and Stevie had a text thread. Let's <laughs> you know? say you and Stevie has text yeah. thread. Go ahead, Brandon. And you're making fun of me, like doing all this shit. Oh, we do that clowning all the time. Me. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> like, clown, like, right, clowning me, doing right, all this right, shit. Right. And then he accidentally sent me that. I'd be like, yo, Doug, what the fuck are you, what, what's up? And you're like, ah, we're just fucking around. I understand. That's how I've been like, oh, that makes sense. I know, but you're we're, common. here's the thing, though. But we're friends. Okay? Those guys are friends. I know, no, no, no. Not the people they were talking about. Okay. Fair point. Not the people they were yeah. talking about. Yeah, well, well, let's come up with a solution. So I understand there's both no points. Solu- there's no, no solution. No, there is. There, there is a there, solution. There, 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 there is, though. There is. There's a, there's a How about you just be a good person 100% of the time? You don't drop the end bomb. You're just a good person. That way, you don't have to worry about any of this. Okay, so you that's, don't say the, anything that's, the, that's the idealistic way to think. Yeah. And, yeah. That's, what, and that's, what, that's what Twitter's trying to make everybody feel like. Yep. And what Brendan oh, is saying is- Because I never drop those words. I never say those words. Oh, sometimes when I'm playing Warzone, I might say- I might slip up. I never say the N-bomb, but I might say a different word and be like, fuck, you know, or, you know, or But the, but, at, but at or, that time, that doesn't represent Stevie as a human being, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's your You got point? a heightened sense there, and you're trying to say whatever it is to hurt that kid, whatever you shot in the face with a fake but gun. I don't know who I, I don't know who shot me. It's just, I'm just angry that I lost. So, but you know, by saying whatever you say, it's, it's going to bother It's the same me. as this email, though, because he knew exactly who he was talking to. He knew exactly what he was saying. Mm-hmm. He chose his words carefully. When you were sitting in front of a computer and you were writing, like, you don't write how you talk. You don't, I don't go like, you stupid, boo, 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 and then I send. No, he wrote that out, man. He thought that out. He he and and you know and he did it and he sent it. Oh, I see your point. So oh, yeah. so so it's okay that like premeditated. Like saying, he, he, it was premeditated. So he said this to uh, he sent it to people. He thought you, you know it was like it was this is going to be between us. And I get that point. I'm yes. not just I'm not get, I'm not taking away that point. Uh, what I'm saying is it you it does not excuse his language and behavior. Yep. It don't excuse it. Yep. I'm not saying that's who he is. No, I agree. All I'm saying is it don't excuse it when the person hears about it. Mm-hmm. I, I'm okay with these people be coming out and being like, hey, man, you want to talk outside about what you're saying about me? Right. It's okay. and, and, and it's not up to him to say, it's not up to Gruden to say, hey, guys, I'm not racist. I just said this privately. I don't care. You know what? You talk about me. Yeah. So I, I, I'm going to let you know when I'm over it. You know, and that's what happened in this situation. So he was like, man, it's a lot of smoke. He didn't want to deal with it. He made his $35 million. He, he didn't want to coach anyway. He, you know, he came back into it, but I, I don't think he de- he can deal with all this smoke. Mm-hmm. The league's different now. And he's just like, you know what? I'm Agreed. good. I'm out. Cool. Well, I stand by this. Brendan has lips like Michelin tires, too. <laughs> <laughs> he got them DSL. No, you don't see nothing bad. You know, come on. <laughs> Brendan, you, 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 I some you're DSLs, a sweet guy. <laughs> Yeah. What are you saying? You you don't say nothing like. Maybe. I mean, our group chats, you know, with comics like with Brian Delia or me or me Rogan. You know, it's like if that yeah. stuff. So got language out, changes because yes, well, you're man. talking to the homies. Like the language yeah. it changes a little yeah. bit. All but right. if that were filmed and it was put out, I'd be accountable for it. You'd have to be accountable for it. That's all I'm saying. That's Let's fair. see what she's got to say. Oh, okay, right. King interesting it. Here we go. On to the next. This little hey apocalypto diamond. Alice diamond. from New York City. Um. So my boyfriend recently admitted that he's peed in our kitchen sink before. Uh, I've done that a million times. <laughs> I was yeah. pretty shocked. I feel like a fucking um, hell's angel when I do it. And I still can't believe that he's done it. Mm. He's oh, that's said nothing. He's done this a couple of times. Yeah. Oh, pfft. Well, Steve, not everybody's sink and toilet um, is the same so thing. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you guys think? Peeing in the sink? Not everyone washes their dishes in their toilet, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> 
First of all, dude. Steve puts the dishes no, in. No, I really mean this one. Nick, <laughs> Nick, I swear to God, you have to really time timestamp that one. Because you're shaming my apartment again, and that's a private thing that I, you know. I feel, oh, I feel, I feel I'm like pissing Gatorade bottles. I feel. Oh, I've done that a million times. Okay. I feel like only girls have a problem with people peeing in sinks. Like, I do it. All the time. All the time. In a hotel, you my girl, what, if we both have to take a piss, dude, we have both, we're both. we in like a hotel and there's one bathroom, and we rush in, I'll be like, she'll be like, yeah. oh, I got to pee. I'm like, me too. But you know what happens? Like, I'm peeing in the sink. But you know what happens when you keep doing that? Because I, I I was addicted to it at one point. Oh, wow. Okay. Peeing in the sink? Yeah. Don't is, ask me it, why. That's it is a freeing. Hour. That's a two-hour thing. It is freeing. But you know what happens? In the piping, there's these little fruit flies. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's that something God. else, Doug. Huh? Yeah, fruit flies don't come from No, piss. no, there's somebody, there's a little flying like gnat thing. Chins? Sounds like CBS response they right now. Coming yeah. out of the hole of Chins the thing. Chin's disgusted. Because you gotta hey. pour bleach down there and clean your apartment sometimes. Yes. Yeah. Stevie, also, it sounds like you're shitting in the sink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. <laughs> Another great episode. You know, you know the part of, of the toilet, the you, you know that part yeah. the, with the wall. That's yeah. where Steve keeps dishes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Hold up. What did you just say? <laughs> say it again. No, we'll timestamp it. <laughs> Thanks for what tuning in, guys. Dude? We got. Oh that's terrible. By the way, we didn't even answer her. Like, yeah. I, I think it's like you have yeah, to have a hygiene wrong. talk with your man. That's all. Look, like, like, you can't unknow what you know. Listen, now every time she looks at that sink, she's like, "There's pee in there. Mm. It's just pee, baby." What do you mean it's just pee, baby? It's just piss? Yeah, pee. Look, yeah. Weird about piss. Well, if and she steps water, on a jellyfish, wash, he's going to be like, well, I guess you don't way. want my pee now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want some pee? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's dirty. All right, let's see yeah, what this no guy's problem. got. Oh, oh fuck. No. Oh, no, Jesus. Fuck. I got a king and sting it for you boys. Adults playing on trampoline. <laughs> I don't know, on the other day, I fractured my neck. <laughs> oh, got a plate put in the back after a seven-hour surgery. Fuck! Also, Ooh. I'm going to take the opportunity to roast the hosts. Brendan, you look like a general manager at the last sharper image on Earth. <laughs> and Theo, you look like you run an ant farm factory. <laughs> uh, buzz, buzz, neck plate. <laughs> love you guys. Love the show. Thanks. I love uh, this guy. Okay, well, first of all, he needed to add to it. A grown person drinking on a trampoline. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, sting it, sting you, it. You, you know, yeah. besides pools, tra uh, trampolines are the most dangerous thing for kids. Let oh, alone yeah. a grown ass <laughs> adult. I'd stay away. You can from catch them, man. air, dude. You can get so much oh, air. Kids on that? get so fucked up on them. Oh, really? Dude. My kids ask for them. I'm like, get the fuck out. So of those here. are three. Might give you a gun. It. I, that must be difficult. Like are you telling your kids not to do dangerous stuff, and they're like. Look at your ears, Dad. I know. <laughs> Talk yeah. about dangerous stuff. I know. You're getting your body pounded well, you know for what? five years. You know what? I just noticed you call it. I just you, you noticed, noticed that. You never noticed my ears before? No. Yeah. I this just noticed like it right lean, now. Yeah. yeah. So that's oh. kind of huge. Are you going to be one of those? Like, what if your kids want to fight? You can say Absolutely no? not, no. It's so interesting. No, hell no. Are they going to wrestle? NFL they're players wrestling are wrestling like right now. Too. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, you know, like, you see how the sausage is made. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, then, like, but your kid is also going to be like, but dad, look what this provided for us. No, I get it. I want to do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, and I went through this shit and got CT, so you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Who's Wait, this dumb? Ow, you fucking strong oh, my ape. Bad. My bad, buddy. <laughs> my bad. You got me fired up. I'm sorry. I saw those tits. It was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we covered this a little bit earlier, but. Tits? Uh, <laughs> Big tits? <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Theo. Dying. Stevie Montez. I think you guys should come to Nashville and film a live King in the Sting. I think it would be so fun. You guys can come out and go through Broadway and all through Nashville. Um, but come to Zany's and have a live taping of King in the Sting. I think that would be awesome. Tickets on me, girl. <laughs> coming through. And bring that food you make it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, King in the Sting. Are you guys coming or not? Broadway. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? We're I, coming. I, I back to you. King her. I what? told Theo yeah. this this morning. I said we should do some King and the Sting shows. Yep. Like stand live up live shows. Uh, Stevie, here's the plan. Stevie hosts it. Yeah, he's going to do then comedy. I come out, do 15. Then you come out, do mm, whatever. Whatever. And then Theo comes out, does whatever. Well, yeah, we all just do 20 or whatever. And, it then, is. and then after, we all go on the stage yeah, together. Yeah, we do the yeah. show. I and then, and, oh, and then fans do live King or Sting it yes, live with exactly, us on stage. Exactly, dude. That's it's a like Doug Benson has been doing that forever with his Who? shows, man. Doug Benson. Oh, yeah. Doug Benson has been great. doing He's got like so many live shows yep. that he does like that, that are associated with his podcast. We should do the same thing, man. I think we should do. I think we should take King and the Sting on the road. Yep. What, what do you say to that? Let me fans? write some stuff. Let me write. What, don't what I you, have to hit open mic? So I don't want to just go in cold. Don't I have to? Yes, dude. Yeah, I have to start doing that. Okay. Yeah. You'll be fine. 
But you, we can always, and that's no, uh, and ki- that's a king it. She's a super king it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And what she said. Yeah, <laughs> king kings. Thanks, kings all in. Is that it? Doug? <laughs> that's it. All right, man. Brea, yes. th- Brea, this Friday, Saturday, Brea Improv. Two shows Friday, two sh- shows Saturday only with the squad. David Lucas, Chappelle Lacey, and myself. Friday, Saturday at Brea. This motherfucking Friday, Saturday. And then uh, November 11th through the 13th is Dallas, Addison Improv. That's a special night for your boy. Come on out, Dallas, November 11th through the 13th. Oh, and you got your dates right up there, dog. Oh, What's yeah, up, we Daddy? Got it. What's up, Daddy? Comedy on State in Wisconsin this weekend, 14th through the 16th. Then I'm at the Arlington uh, Draft House. That's a great room. So I got all that stuff there, too. But come on out to comedy. I can't wait to. I haven't been there in a while, so I'm looking forward to going to Wisconsin. On Wisconsin. Yeah. I'm from Wisconsin. Oh, uh, there you YouTube. go. YouTube.com so, tell slash Sister Bros. And, oh, and then we're, I'm getting, we're getting the band back together, you know, David Cho, Money Mark. So we're recording new music. Oh, so sick. Look out for oh, We're going to do a reunion show. Sometime and then soon, when once we get done recording this new stuff. Yeah. Love yeah. it, man. Yeah. Love you guys. Thanks for showing up. Deal, yeah. we miss you. Deal special drops. What October what? 19th. 19th. Go get it. By go get it, I mean watch it. Love you guys. We're out. Brendan and Theo, fighter and wait. I got to go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black Rifle Coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor. I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious. Brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brendan ate the queso and the queso Ritos. But everything's gonna be fine. Ay, hate on me, I do not mind. Ay, Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times. They sliding into my DMs. A couple of you tried but couldn't beat them. Quit playing like Nintendo DS. You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz. Meaning y'all edible. Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible. Brennan's son hit me up. He said it's too loud in the club. Can you pick me up? King and the sting. King and the sting. Oh yeah. King and the sting. On a string